hybrid editing made easy. This hybrid photography vlog post is brought to you by ProShow. Photodex.com. Hey, Mark. Great question. Where is the future of studio lighting for photographers as well as hybrid photographers headed? Well, nobody knows for sure. However, I am very plugged into this entire topic because it's important to me as a photographer and as an educator, I've got the responsibility of helping thousands, if not tens of thousands of photographers make the decision on not only what to buy for their type of photography, but when to buy it. Here's where we're at. The upper end of LED lighting that would be suitable for studio photography is expensive and it's not really ready for still photography. In earlier email replies, you'll see that we talk about the Bowens 12 inch by 12 inch panels, right? 12 inch by 12 inch is going to be how we're going to build light panels in the future. And they're going to just snap together and they're going to be powered by batteries and they're going to consume very little electricity and we'll be able to snap, say, three of them together, which would be three feet by one foot and then another row of those. So we'd have a light panel that's three feet by two feet, giving us an ideal main light. That's coming. We're about two years away from that, buddy. And it is going to be expensive. So your question is, you're moving into hybrid photography. Congratulations. That's the right step, right? We need to be able to to produce video as much as we do photo. And I only want one set of lights. I ultimately want to have one set of lights that are going to be continuous output that I can use for still photos and I can use them for video. As of right now, we don't have those. Now, manufacturers are quick to lend us anything that we want to test out here. And I, I really do have a lot of LED equipment and we don't talk about it a whole lot on Discover Mirrorless because it's not a solution. Here's what I would suggest. And I, I like the fact that you describe yourself as a strobist, right? David Javi over there is just such a wonderful instructor as well as a first class photographer. Take your time. Stay low as much as you can and don't invest in any sort of new system at all right now. I guess if you wanted to start getting into that and and the ring light look was good for you, the only one that I, I give the big thumbs up to as far as uh, uh, an investment grade LED would be the Quantum Omicron, which is a ring light. You can get the version 3, which has flash. Version 4 has adjustable color temperature. Expensive? Yeah. Does it work really well? Yeah. Are you going to be able to use it in a softbox for a main light or a hair light or a fill light? Not really yet. It's not a very versatile tool, but it is going to blaze the trail for things to come, right? It's battery powered and that's what we want. We want to be able to go anywhere we can. Now, one of the reasons that we're attracted to LED is that battery power. And you think, well, why? Well, that doesn't make that much of a big deal, right? I could, I could plug these in just as quickly as I could use a battery. Hang on. When you shoot on location and you're outside. And as soon as you have to run AC power to run a flash, you've got uh, safety liability issues, right? You've also got a, a high likelihood you're going to need to pull a permit. You're going to grab a lot of attention. It's going to be slower to set up. It's not a lot of fun. If you want to go do a couple of quick shoots in the park, say, for instance, in the city that you live, a battery powered LED big old panel that gives you the nice big flood of fill light is where we're going. Just not ready for it yet. So stay tuned to Discover Mirrorless. I guarantee you, Scott Giorgini is working like a madman over there trying to find us solutions. The slide in LEDs from Manfrotto, for instance, are a little on the pricey side, but I got to tell you, even though they're limited, I'm, I'm very happy with how they work. So slow and steady is going to win this race. But as of now, don't be investing into flash, right? You go out and buy a big pro photo, big Ellen Chrome kit or something, you're going to be stuck with it because in two or three years, the rush will be over to LED and continuous lighting. And those flashes will be, you know, very, very low in used value. Sorry. And I know the pro photo guys and the Ellen Chrome guys, they, they read this website too. And you know, I, I own both of those and I use them, but Oh boy, that's a lot of money. I have to decide when I'm going to sell that stuff too, right? All right, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hybrid editing made easy. This hybrid photography vlog post is brought to you by ProShow. Photodex.com.